is Leah Selena, and welcome to the first new episode of Around Campus for the 2016-2017 academic school year here at Delaware State University. On today's show, I have SGA President and Vice President of the New Era Administration, Jasmine Jenkins and Kevin Barrow. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm all right. Well, thank you for coming. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Great. Well, I'm going to get right into things. So just a couple weeks ago, maybe almost three, three weeks ago, we welcomed the class of DSU 20. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was move-in day, and I know all the student leaders, and you guys, you were out at the front of the main entrance cheering everyone on. You had signs, and you were just cheering them on and welcome, welcoming in the new class of DSU 20. Mm -hmm. So how important do you think it is to really just welcome them in with open arms and help them with that transition from high school to college? Um, I believe that it is very, very important because, you know, like you said, transitioning from high school to college, mm -hmm. you know, is a very big step. And, you know, we want to be the ones to help, you know, guide them in the right direction. So, you know, just cheering them on and let them know that, you know, you're not alone just because your mother and father's not here. You have us to, you know, look up to and lean on as well. So I right. believe it's very, very important. Right. Now, me personally, I know last year I was a Hornet ambassador, and I met a lot of the freshmen that were coming in, and I just adopted them with, you know, I got a lot of brothers and little sisters, and I just mm -hmm. took them under my wing, and I guide them. So, do you guys have any little brothers or sisters that you have adopted? Yes. I have a lot. You have a lot? I have a lot. Those are my babies. What experience do you have with them, or what lessons have you taught them about or told them to stay away from? Well... I have a couple of people, a couple of freshmen, mm -hmm. actually a lot of freshmen, which I'm actually happy to say that got involved mm -hmm. with the freshman elections, who asked me or for help or what to do or mm -hmm. how to go about the interview process or mm -hmm. what they should do in their speech or how they should go about it. And honestly, it's, it's humbling and it's, it's, it's an honor mm -hmm. because I, it's never happened before. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's new to me. So I actually uh, enjoyed helping them and a lot of them that I did help ended up making ballot, and they will find that out in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yes. great. That's really yes. good. Now, do you have any plans or any events that you want to do to just help to ensure DSU 20 gets involved and they're a part of the Hornet family and they just take advantage of all the opportunities that DSU has to offer? Well, this week we actually had a spirit week um, to help us prepare for the, our first home game. Um, we had a jersey day. Um, Rep Your Org Day, which they weren't able to, you know, participate in that day, but they got to see, you know, the different orgs around campus. Um, a canned food drive, and today we're actually making posters, and there are actually a lot of freshmen there now, so that's that's awesome. Um, in the spring, we also uh, look for, looking forward and planning to do a 2020 week. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't want to give you too much of what the 2020 week will mm -hmm. entail, but it will be dedicated to just the freshmen. Okay. And, and only the freshmen. I like that. Mm -hmm. 2020. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's see. So our freshman year, you know, as freshmen, we come in. It's all new. We're all wild and excited to do everything. So what's something, if you could go back in time to tell your freshman self something, what would it be? To get involved then and there. I okay. actually, you know, waited until my sophomore year to get involved. Mm -hmm. I wish I have, would have started earlier. But you know, I'm here now, so that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. For me, it would probably be to also get involved. Mm -hmm. I wasn't that much involved my freshman year, but also choose your friends more wisely. Mm -hmm. You know, freshman year, you may come in or hang out with a certain group, and it may not be the group for you. It may, you may be in a different space, but you don't know it as yet. So I would just tell myself that. Okay, that was some great advice. <laughs> I hope DSU 20, they're right. really listening to that, and they take it to heart. Right, no um, drama. Right. Mm -hmm. So, all right, now we're going to talk about what I know everybody was here about, homecoming. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know there was a little bit of controversy this week on social media. Um, yeah. A Boogie, he put out his tour dates. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the tour dates were during the week of homecoming, and it said Dover, Delaware. Did it? Delaware State <laughs> University. Yeah. And I mean, I know you wait till two weeks before, but it seems like a hey, boogie might have put it out a little I early. Know oh, you didn't know? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody knows. I guess he just got a little excited, but don't think it's just a hey, boogie. We have right. more artists, so we're gonna keep the anticipation. And don't, don't think it's just a concert. Oh, yeah, it's more We than have that. a whole week mm -hmm. of events. Homecoming mm -hmm. is seven days, and trust me, 
it will be seven days of activity. Seven great days. Seven great seven days. Seven great days. Yes. Hmm. If you could describe homecoming in one word, what would it be? Major. <laughs> Major. Major. Okay. Major. Okay. So, um, the events. Now, sometimes the events are pretty traditional. Mm -hmm. So, do you plan to do, you know, the traditional events, or do you have any new ideas coming up? Do you have any surprises for us Definitely this year? Definitely a couple of surprises. A couple um, of surprises. Of course, we're going to, you know, keep the traditional events, like the step show, party, and concert. But for the other things, we got some new things. Some new things, yes, huh? Yeah, yes, hey. ma'am. Can we get a hint? Mm. Yeah. The come home In two weeks. <laughs> We can't get no other hand. Y'all got a boogie. That was that's a yeah, big hand. That was a big enough hand. That was <laughs> unexpected hand, but y'all yeah. got it. Yeah, unexpected, but we got it. We'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. So let's get on to housing. Okay. I know there's been some issues with housing. Everyone wasn't. Maybe some people were promised housing, but then they got here. It didn't really happen. I know some people are actually living at Super 8 mm -hmm. right now, and a lot of people are upset. I know some people took to Twitter and put videos out. Mm -hmm. um, there was a young lady. Her name was Koya Perez. She put out an article on, a, on the Horner newspaper about it, mm -hmm. and over the weekend, it actually got deleted. So mm -hmm. what, were, what are your thoughts on the situation? Um, we are very aware of, like, the uproar and the controversy over the housing situation. Like you said, people living in the Super 8, also people that live in Warren Franklin, having an additional roommate on top right. of the one that they already have. Mm -hmm. and, I, and we understand. Um, we know that, I want the students to know that we care, mm -hmm. RHA cares, mm -hmm. and administration cares, and they're working tirelessly to help fix or solve the problem. Mm -hmm. We do not have the answers, but what we can do is be the voice for the students. So mm -hmm. when they, we hear the complaint, we go and we voice those opinions and those complaints to administration yes. and, and make them make a change or step up and do something to help the students. So mm -hmm. we just want them to know that we can, we understand. Mm -hmm. And it's only temporarily. It's not like they're going to stay there for the whole semester. Hopefully everything, you know, hopefully, 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 everything is fine by the end of this month. Right. Just hope. Okay. So keep your fingers crossed. All right. Now, do you guys have any say in that whatsoever, or do you have any ways maybe you can fix it or administration can fix it? Um, well, to be honest, it is above us. Mm -hmm. It's above us because it has to do with financial situations, with mm -hmm. housing, and that's that's above us because we're students ourselves, so we have to get housing ourselves. So mm -hmm. it's, it's above SGA, but what mm -hmm. we can do as SGA is use our power and just be the voice and just stress to them that this needs this is something that needs to be handled and taken care of as soon as possible because it's something that's going on on campus and students aren't happy about it. And the last thing we want is the students not happy yeah. at the school right. they're attending. Yeah. All right. Is there any other message you would like to give to the students that are living at the Super 8 or the many of students who are actually just concerned and um, just really feel for the students who are at the Super 8? Just know that, like he said, we are voicing, we are the voice for you. So just know just about every single day we do, you know, talk to administration. Like, mm -hmm. here, you know, students are saying this, students are saying that. What can we do? Like, what can we say to the students to let them know that, you know, we're, if things are, you know, in the works? So. All right, good, good. Now, there's a whole rest of the year that we have. I mean, we are, we're only about three weeks in. So mm -hmm. what else this new era has to offer us for the rest of the academic school year? A lot. A lot. A lot. So, a lot. so after <laughs> homecoming is right around the corner. Right. It's like after sweet. homecoming, it goes straight into all our initiative mode. We already mm -hmm. begin um, Working on our initiative in the summer, we've been here in the summer, we're putting a lot of hours, a lot of mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. working on our initiatives and working on homecoming. But now, I think right now, we're in strictly homecoming mode, right, because it's right around the corner. Right. Yes. But as soon as that's over, then we're initiative. getting right back into our initiatives, making sure that's complete. And mm -hmm. then just a successful school year, honestly. Mm -hmm. We just want students to enjoy it. We want students mm -hmm. to get more involved, hopefully inspire students to get more involved and fill these open positions that we have. And inspire them to come back. Right, and come right. back. Yes, that's a good one. Up. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not down. Oh. Right. All right. Is there anything else you want to say to the students before we leave? Um, make sure you book your hotel room or book, have your friends book a hotel room. Get your tickets. October 9th to the 16th, homecoming. It's going to be lit. Major, major, major week. Oh, and very, very important, the election coming up. We have voter registration Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, every week, every Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday up until September 26th. From 10.30 mm -hmm. to 2. And we will have, hopefully, we will have uh, another 
um, organization coming in that they will be there Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to do voter registration. So our goal is to just get as many students as we can registered to vote, mm -hmm. but that's only what we can do. They mm -hmm. have to be the ones to actually go out and right. vote. So we're just doing our part, and hopefully the students will do their part and make a change because this election is pretty important, if right. you ask me. pretty critical. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I just want to say congratulations on that because I've been thinking about that and I've been hoping that when I come back here, there was going to be something here at DSU to help students get registered to mm -hmm. vote because we need to do it. Right. And a lot of people may say, oh, millennials, they don't really know nothing. They just mm -hmm. social media and all this. But it really is a lot of young people who are aware of the elections. They're aware of the two candidates and everything that's going on. And I know I already got my um, ballot coming in the mail, so I'm good. Well, actually, we were thinking to go above it and mm -hmm. just get actual ballots on campus. Mm -hmm. But by the time we were elected in office, it was, too late. It was already Delaware's um, location for their ballots has already been set. Okay. So we just had to go to that next step and um, get voter registration. But mm -hmm. I know right now we're in the talks and seeing how our budget is looking about possibly getting buses to take students to polls mm -hmm. on election day. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to make the effort to make sure students are going out and vote. But we just hope that they actually do. Oh, and uh, the, the debate night. We're working on um, oh, yeah. getting a room for that so we can have okay. a debate night, like watch, a watch, night. A watch, watch party. A viewing hmm. for the debate okay. night. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, so yeah. yeah, be on the lookout Great. for that as well. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Kevin, so thank much. You. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Okay. Thank you. Now, for you guys at home, you can stay tuned with the, <laughs> with the New Era administration by following them on social media at New Era underscore SGA or by visiting their website, newerasda.com. Mm -hmm.